Hey everyone, Georgie here with Ukraine Matters. There is a video circulating about the Ukrainian prisoner of war being executed by the Russians. If you have the guts, uh, please stop the video right now and check out the description link. I want you to watch the video so you know what we're talking about right now. It's just a couple of seconds. If you cannot, then basically the story of the video is that a person was just smoking a last cigarette. He was a captured prisoner of war. And he said, Slava Ukraini to the captives, to which he just got instantly executed by multiple uh, gunshots. It's an extremely difficult thing to watch, but I think this is something that we need to remember. We need to see this face of the war because this video illustrates it all, everything. We, we, we talk about the numbers of people's loss. We talk about houses being struck, but I think it not always translates the personal preview of what this word is and more importantly what this video also does it demonstrates exactly who the russians are because i can guarantee you in that forest where there was this warrior the hero there was no putin standing in there so it's not just putin that is attacking ukraine what we need to understand that what this video shows the most clearly is that Ukraine is fighting to be, well, Ukraine. Russians are willing to destroy Ukrainians, to kill them in cold blood, prisoners of what or anything, with weapons, without weapons, it doesn't matter to them. For them, they want to kill Ukrainians just because they are Ukrainians. It is genocide. They want to destroy every single person that will say it is Ukraine you are on. This is not Russia. And I want us to understand this really, really well. This is extremely important because we in the West, we allow a lot of us being deceived every day. We hear some of our politicians and just allow them to flap their mouths saying that oh maybe there should be some negotiations russia still had to still has to have a face saved we still should consider putin regime maybe we should give a piece of land to putin and when i'm saying putin i'm saying russians this is what you're saying whenever those politicians open their mouths this is what they mean they say let's give some ukrainians to be executed if russians will want this secondly there are companies our own western companies that are still working with russia they're paying taxes they are paying everything like they are responsible for funding this war there has been plenty of time for any company or anything else to exit Russia. There has been plenty of time to cut business, yet the only thing that we're hearing from these big corporations, Bonduel, um, Ashan, and other ones, we're hearing, oh, we're considering it. Are we stupid? This is a question to ask, not, not to us, not to them. They are lying to our faces. Are we taking this? More importantly, there are Russians as well that left Russia. Like, okay, I say Russians in Russia cannot protest. Fine. But let's talk about Russians that leave. There are plenty of Russians that left Russia. And the only thing that they should be doing right now is protesting. The only thing that they should be doing is advertising to support Ukraine, to send weapons to Ukraine, to send money to Ukraine. Yet that is not what we're seeing. That is not what we're hearing. They cozy up to the governments where they have some kind of representability in the countries and they just continue being Russians. They laugh at Ukrainian refugees. They mock them. They torture them by displaying all of these swastikas and everything. It is unimaginable that we allow such intolerance to the war crimes and people committing genocide to be forgiven for their positions. So my question to you with ending this video, I want you to remember the face of the hero of Ukraine that was in that video. And I want you to ask the question to yourself. Are you living up to the values that we supposedly in the West are preaching, that supposedly we should be this society where we should not allow genocide, where we should not allow human life 
to mean nothing, where we should not allow other uh, forces to enforce their will and then also say, okay, let's maybe just allow the trade. This war tells more about us. So can we live up to the same standard of values that the person on the video was living up to up until his death? Smerts for